Hi guys, welcome to this video about a problem with the video LAN player, the VLC. And the problem I want to talk about is uh, what you can do when the VLC is just really slowly starting. So what does it mean? So here we have two files, two video files. I have assigned the MP4 to VLC. And if I double click on one of these, the VLC should automatically start playing pretty fast. Like I do it now. And as you can see, it starts playing. So I close this again. And usually that works really good, especially when you have freshly downloaded the latest version of the VLC that works for quite some time. But sometimes after some time, it gets really slow. Unfortunately, I cannot show you uh, how this works, but if you double click, some people experience delays of up to 5, 10, 20 or even 30 seconds till the VLC starts. It looks like it's doing nothing and then you click again and click again and click again and at the end you have 10 open windows with the VLC playing same video. So that's really annoying. And the problem is it's not so easy to find what's wrong. If you go to the VLC website, there is some discussion forum, but uh, there is not much or not too much about that. I mean, in the forum, there's something in the knowledge, um, knowledge section. Um, there's not so much. So I've been trying to find some uh, yeah possibilities which work and i have i found a couple of solutions there are actually i think three solutions which uh, exist and i'm going to show you uh, how this works and hopefully at least one of these solutions will work for you too so the probably easiest way how you can optimize the startup speed is if you double click on a video and here uh, we have the menu and in tools you can go down and we have the preferences and but here we have just the standard i mean simple preferences we need the advanced preferences and that means we have to click on all and then we are at the advanced preferences and what we have to do i mean when we hover with the mouse over this option it says scan plugin directory for new plugins at startup this increases the startup time of vlc and this is exactly what we don't want so that's one of the options uh uncheck this thing and click save so i can't really tell you what's the disadvantage of the thing so why do they need uh, do they need new plugins probably it's because of new versions uh, i guess so so I, I haven't been able to find out about that. So if you uncheck this option, save it and run it for a while and after a couple of months it won't work anymore because it needs new plugin and you have unchecked that. Yeah, that's a little bit bad because probably after a couple of months you won't remember that you have unchecked this thing here and then probably the only way to get it work again is to download I mean, uh, uninstall the old version and install a new one and then the default will be anyway scanned for new plugins and it will work again. So, but it leaves a little bit a strange taste, but probably at the, big, uh, at the moment it will work. At least I have found some incidents that some people have been doing that and it was working great at least for a while. So what other possibilities do you have? 
So what we have to do, we have to go to the directory where VLC is in, uh, uh, installed. If you don't know where it is, just right click on the icon where you always uh, start it. Then click on properties. Hope you can see that. It was a little bit on the side. Properties. And then we have the target and we can directly click on open file location so we do that now and so we are now here and we can see i have it on a d usually standard is c c programs file program files video land vlc but i have it on a d because the c has is a little bit low on space so what we have we have a plugins folder we click on that and if when we go down there is a file name with the name plugins uh, plugins.dat and it should be around 300 kilobytes usually i mean according to other people that should be good at least yeah when it's uh, when it has this name about this size um that should look good but i had this like this in the previous version and it was not good so i was thinking about doing it um to remove that and what i did i when you are on this file you you uh, so you click once that it's blue then you press f2 go to the end and rename it to something like uh, i always use something like save so i have it plugins dot date dat dot save and the vlc it won't be able to find it anymore and uh now i go to the uh, file here again and we start that and usually it should work <laughs> okay the problem was it, it was already running in in the background so of course when i double click it will be working and yeah for me it was really working fast i mean after removing this file so actually i would say you could really delete that thing click delete and then let's uh yeah let's put this thing away and uh the thing is yeah if you ever need that if you think it was a bad move to delete that it's no problem you can reinstall or yeah you can recreate this thing if you really physically delete it if you choose the th way i do with the save you can rename it and delete the dot save and you will have it again but it's probably better to um to create a new one and this is the actually the third possibilities or maybe the se second option so uh, because it's not my option my option is the last option that's the the delete option or rename option the second option was actually some people were saying that they didn't have such a file or they probably had an outdated file maybe yeah something was not right anymore here so anyway and uh, it's a good decision to delete or rename it and create it from scratch and this is how you can do that unfortunately there's no way to open a command uh, line anymore because actually we would need a command line on video lan uh, vlc here you have the pass not in plugins but in vlc you would actually uh yeah so here we would have to uh we would need a command prompt with um yeah admin rights and uh, but new we have all we, we have nothing if we if we uh, press shift and right click the const context menu with the new windows 10 only shows a 
open PowerShell and not the open command anymore. So we have to do it manually. I mean, there's a way to bring the command shell back in the context menu, but it's it's a really, it's a huge thing. It's uh, way too much to explain this here and it's risky. I mean, I haven't do, done this and I'm not planning to do that. Uh, it's not such a problem to do to invoke it manually so what we have to do we need the command prompt here so what we do we cl we right click here on the vlc and click on copy address as text okay then we hit the windows key and type cmd and here we have the command prompt and we right click on that and run it as administrator and click on yes of course so here we have it and we type i'm not 100 percent sure let's try this i think it should work with cd uh, and then space and then the uh, control V I mean the thing which we have in the clipboard from the past which we have copied before CD space and then control V and let's see if this work didn't work probably we have to go to D first means the double point if you have the thing on a D and then I mean I'm on already there but probably now you can do this thing at least you have to be on the right drive if you need C it and type C double point if you need D type D double point after that use the CD command to go to the correct pass now we are on the correct pass we need to be on the video LAN slash VLC oops and then we need a command. I will put down the command into the description so you can copy the command and paste it here. And that's the command. Of course, you will have to adapt the pass here. Um, in my case, it's a D. Okay. So the command is VLC uh, cache chain. That's a program actually and it has to um, create this new file in the program file video line vlc plugins okay and let's see if this works okay Pro it, it didn't bring uh didn't come up with an error message so let's check if we find it there um here we have the where we do we have the plugins plugins we go down and as you can see um yeah we have a new file the new plugins.dat that's uh new generated and yeah for those people who didn't have it anymore so now it will be here if you had it and want to get rid of yeah just delete it whatever you have i mean it's definitely worse to play around there are so many people saying that it works for them uh to add the plugin dot dat new for me it didn't work for me it worked with deleting this thing for some people they say they use the other option uh in the advanced menu uh skip scanning uh the plugins so at least now you have three possibilities to uh yeah use that and yeah as you have seen i've been playing ar uh, around a lot and it's still working so it's really not dangerous to play around with this file uh, it's almost impossible to mess uh, the thing up um, yeah otherwise if it really doesn't work anymore uh, go to uh, the apps and on uninstall VLC and download it uh, from the website. I'll put down also the website into the description so you can download it from there. And yeah, so either way, I think any, uh, yeah, one of these options really should work. Uh, if it doesn't work, yeah, then it's, uh, <laughs> then it's becoming a little bit 
uh, more difficult but uh, yeah let me know anyway if this thing was working for you or if you have a better option or what you think about this thing i mean i know the video was too long okay uh you don't have to write this uh down and you can easily watch this thing with 1.5 uh times speed I, it was a little bit slow i apologize for that but still i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions yeah or comments or better suggestions right down to the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time